Ever since Rockstar added the RC Bandito to GT Online in 2018, they seem to really like the idea of RC cars and just keep adding more and more. Honestly, it's kind of cool, but over the years they've become tiring to deal with, and the players I fight in this video show how they might be one of the worst additions Rockstar has made to GT Online. Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich, like me? Well, go over to Messi Modding Services, where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. Now, don't get me wrong, with a few tweaks, RC cars could be great for everyone. But come on, it's Rockstar. They love imbalance. Let's see what goes wrong. I guess you wanted the bounty. So this session starts by me trying to be friendly with someone and they kill me randomly. Now because deep down I probably am a bit of a tryhard, I can't let him get away with that. So I try and get my kill back. So yeah, now another person's trying to randomly kill me. Shit. I don't really care about that guy. I want to go back to the guy that killed me first. Bro, what is this lock on? It's not fucking locking on. I'm literally just wasting my fucking time doing this. Um, yeah, one of the settings that I had on kind of affected my lock on. Um, I didn't realise until later. But anyway, when I spawn back in, there's this guy in the plane above me. He doesn't do anything for now, but it is important. He's flying very suspiciously just over me. And there we go, he dropped a bomb, I shot a rocket, it looks like we're trying to kill each other. However, it seems like he's crashed and he's jumped out of his plane. Because he lands by the beach, I start to make my way over to him. But all of a sudden, he just disappears from the map. I start to scout the beach to see if I can find where he is. I suspect he could be in an RC car so I try and lock onto him, but someone starts shooting at me and ruins that. Like literally just leave me the fuck alone, you're such a stupid bad. But soon enough, I find out where he is. And because I destroyed his RC car, he spawned back on the map. But soon enough, he disappears again. Now, did you guys see that? Let me go back. To me, that looks like it could be another RC car. Yeah, another RC car. Anyway, let's keep watching. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to three things. Number one is my wanted level. Number two is how many people there are in this area. And number three is how many police there are in my area. At the moment, no wanted level, no people, and no police. A little bit later, you hear some police, and there's only one guy in my area, but he's really far away. Now, another minute or so later, I still don't have a wanted level, but there seems to be a bit more police. Check the map, and there's no one really nearby. And after a little bit, the police and shooting all get a lot louder. That's why. There's another RC car. When 
this RC car explodes, a person appears on the map, where I thought it was just a guy from earlier. I must have been on my phone or something. I don't know how I spotted that so late. There's two? So yeah, there was two people after me in an RC car in this session. I have no idea how or when this guy joined and got involved, but that's one of the biggest flaws about RC cars. Basically permanent off radar and no notification. You have to rely on your sensors. BST fucking drop. Fucking drop. What the fuck? I can't Evo. I can't Evo because I need to get it. Oh my fucking god, that was so stressful. Now here I'm in an awful position, so I want to Evo to just change my location. They're in the most awkward positions ever, because one can just hit me, they just... And I spawn in the exact same place again, like what are these spawns? And again, in the exact same place. I don't want to spawn here, like what the fuck is the deal with this? I literally win that fight if I'm not getting fucking spammed with explosives. It's so annoying. And this shitty retard is upset from earlier when I killed him. You're such a- just grow the fuck up, you stupid fucking bellend. Yeah, go off radar, you little fucking dickhead. I'm gonna go passive. I'll wait you out, the fucking prick. So I send the SMS guy a message saying why, asking him why he auto can me. And then he put a bounty on me. And his response to what was coming to me was, why not? Usually the response of a low IQ individual. Anyway, I drive to my apartment and I get another message saying HDF. Don't know what that means at all. I also get vote kick for some reason. But anyway, I look at these guys' accounts. The KFC guy has a crazy high KD. This guy's account might be legit or it could be my low level account. And the SMS guy also has a crazy high KD. So what have we learned from this session? In my opinion, RC cars in this game are way too discreet. There's almost no way of telling if an RC car is near you without listening out for them, which can be really difficult if there's a lot going on. It'd be cool if there was like a radar detector type thing, maybe an app on your phone where you could scan for vehicles nearby. This would really help to tell if someone's stalking you, which happens quite a lot with RC cars. 
There's also the issue where people can just sit in an RC car basically indefinitely. People can spawn into the session and straight away go into an RC car for almost forever. This leaves them basically untouchable. Now this wouldn't really be an issue if it wasn't for the fact that RC cars are weaponized. You have permanent off radar and can go around griefing with no one really knowing where you are. To make matters worse, when you blow up the RC car it doesn't count as a kill and the person controlling the RC car just teleports back to where they were before controlling it. Some people will go into an RC car right outside one of their own buildings so when they get taken out, they spawn right back next to their building and can go inside straight away. Now the only way to really counter this is to have one person camping their respawn point to get them before they have the chance to run back inside. Some people I've met basically live in RC cars too. They'll abuse the fact that there are multiple RC cars to get away from the cooldown and as soon as one RC car blows up, they get in another. They do this over and over and usually if they get caught out, they'll just leave the session. It's basically an unstoppable strategy and really boring. With this one guy, he was killing loads of people in his RC car. I eventually found him in the map, blew up his RC car, and as soon as he blew up, he left the session. That's how pathetic some of these players are. To fix this, I've got four suggestions. First, add a battery life. RC cars don't last forever in the real world, so why not add a timer for the amount of time you can just sit in one? They also don't have a limited range, so why not also add range? This would stop people going all the way around the map in RC cars. Now there's also the opportunity to add your character controlling the RC car, like in games like COD and Rainbow Six, and this could allow your character to still be killed while using an RC car, which takes away the invincibility aspect. There's also just adding a kill notification when you blow up an RC car. Now yeah, it's not realistic, but it's also GTA with flying bikes. Now this was a bug a while ago, where you did get a notification for blowing up someone's RC car, but it really helped the whole RC spam problem. If you want to see the biggest RC worry I've ever thought, check out this video here. It's kind of old now, but it's still very satisfying. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Add any suggestions, and I'll see you in the next one.